Who said I love you first? Yo. Hi, my name is Nshamulo. And I'm in a relationship with Mulo. And yeah, we've been together for a long time. Six amazing years. Mulo and I met in, I think, 2013, 2014. I was still presenting on Sisterhood Crazy and he used to have this slot, right, um, on the show called Guy Code. Everything that he did was shot in location. And the one time, uh, it happened that I had to be in studio, so uh, she interviewed me. And I remember that day looking at her thinking to myself, who is this girl? I had interviewed so many people before, but like there was something about him that when he sat next to me, I was just like, okay, no, I'm getting the jitters. Like, why am I nervous? This has never happened to me before. It didn't help that she was complimenting everything that I was wearing. She said I smelled nice and I was like, I wonder if she does this with all the guests. <laughs> I, I had to tell him straight up, I'm just like, yo, dude, yo, I, I don't know, hey, this is something that's happening right here, but just so you know, like, you know, there's, there's just something going on here, there's like an energy that's passing between us, and I just wanted to know that it's there. I think I was trying to be professional, uh, to keep my distance a bit, but, like, my feelings just overtook all of that. When we used to come in and chill in the office, like, I'd see him, you know, but, like, I'm trying to not show and jump inside it. Ah, the vibes. Ah, the sparks. Fourth of July. It took a year for us to realize that, wait a minute, that initial attraction that we had about a year ago, there's something to this. I remember taking her home one day after a long day of uh, shooting. She was shooting a different show, I was shooting a different show. Um, and then I gave her a lift to the taxi rank at the time. On the road, he's just like, dude, you know I'm serious about you, right? I was just like, no man, I must make my move. It's now or never. So I shot my shot and I said to her, listen. I'll stop this car right now. I will hop out. I will scream your name out loud and I will ask you to come outside and kiss me. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. Like, no, of course you're not going to do that. He's like, no, legit, I will. I'm like, no, you're not going to do that. So I stopped the car in the middle of traffic. In the middle of Bram, by where the taxis turn, like, it's the busiest spot right there just before Mandela. But do you know how pissed taxi drivers get there when you just like stop randomly in the middle of the road? So when he did it, I was like, no, oh my gosh, okay, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I believe you, just come back into the car. He's like, nah, now you have to come. You have to come out because you said I must do this now. And I'm like, no, it's raining. Oh, my hair. And I'm trying to come up with like all these excuses. Did I come out of the car? Long story short. No, I didn't. But I did appreciate the gesture. <laughs> I did appreciate the gesture. He came back in and just when I was about to get out of the car where I was going to catch the taxi, that's when our first kiss actually happened. And I think I even told her that on that day that, listen, I don't want to play around with you. You are the girl that I want to date. And she was a little reluctant. I think she was just out of relationship, so she she was a little reluctant. But Mina, I was like, "You are it. This is it." And literally, the rest is history. We started dating, and we engaged. Now, we even have a beautiful child together. So I made the right decision that day. <laughs> when we started dating, it was a very like probably one of the hardest times of my life because I had just lost my mom um, in our first year of dating so when he was still pursuing me because we did date in that year but he was still pursuing me you know even after asking me out like he made it a, a, an effort every single day to say dude like I'm in this I'm serious like let's do this and I just kept on saying you know I don't think I'm in the right frame of mind you know like I'm, I'm not okay like genuinely emotionally I'm not fine and he was just like Nah, dude, it's chilled. Like, you went through something traumatic, you know, and um, you need to process it. But I'm not going anyway. Like, I'm going to be here. 
because I've made that decision that you are the person that I want. So while you also still trying to gather your emotions, I'm also I'm also just gonna be tidying my things together and just making sure that when you are ready to fully come to me, like I am ready to like also give you everything that I have to give, like honestly and sincerely. So use that time to be okay so that we can also be okay. A year or two into us uh, being together, I lost my grandfather who was literally my father, who, who was literally my father. And the way she supported me through my grief, it was like this woman who is supposedly younger than me, who I know I want to be with, but we're still just dating, but who can carry me emotionally that way is someone that I need to cherish for the rest of my life because she helped me cross over from being a boy into being a man. She literally helped me cross over. Dear Molo, I will love you to the death of my soul and I will always thank God that you came into my life at the time that you did. Because if you hadn't, I probably would have been lost and never have found my way. So thank you. Thank you, and I love you. Ting chong cha. And I was gonna go for this, but I was like, let me give you a chance. Let me give you a chance. You know, you always go for it. If I was a cocktail, which cocktail would I be, and why? <sighs> let me go through a list of my faves. Not a strawberry decree. I mean, you're sweet and all, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I mean, you know, there's a little bit of spice to you. That's one way to describe try. it. I'd say mojito, because while wow, you're refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> refreshing. Refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> and then also I miss me a favorite cocktail so uh, uh, Yes, yeah, definitely it is. that. Did you have faith in our relationship? A hundred percent. Let me tell you why, right? We met in 2013. Only started dating in 2014. So in the year of me just looking at you, just studying, hey, watching you move. By the time when Vele Vele, we started being together, I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew. First I date, I knew. I was like, I know. First one. Do you know how I know you knew? Because you wrote a letter to my brain aid and you didn't just make a promise to me, you made a promise to him. That I'm going to love you. Too. I can school so many people on this love thing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. What that is. He didn't just promise me, he promised my granddad, my father. What is your favorite memory of us together? Bam. Oh, she doesn't your, remember your, I don't remember. Anything. Which is why I have to record everything <laughs> to remind her. Boy, and what happened last week? Sure. This is what happened last week. That's, why we, have, on this that's why we have memories on Insta stories. I want to hear it. Okay, favorite moment. Yo. <laughs> okay. When I was giving birth. <laughs> uh -huh. You never saw that coming, did you? Uh -huh. You thought I was going to be that like, oh, no, first date, no? Why? Because, listen, it came with instructions, right? I was just like, babe. In my lap. You must just be here and he abided. And guys, you know, like it gets rough, hey? Like, I don't want to get into the gory details, but this guy was a human fan. Two hours. I mean. Advice I have for the young gentleman. He was here. <laughs> if you're going to be there when your child is being born, you must not go by the business end. You must go here by the administrative end. The business <laughs> end is none of your business. Handle ad admin. 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 Administration. Fan it out. Yeah. Fan it out. But you did base there. Are you? Yeah, you were a champ, bro. Shout out, bro. You were a champ. What is one thing I do that turns you on the most? <laughs> hey, parents. <laughs> it's time to sleep. <laughs> Time to switch off the light and get into the movies. It's time to lala class. When you get angry, Ooh. you have you just have this look in your eye. This is like 
I don't want to chat in it. It's it dangerous, man. It, it, like, Ugh, this slut was dangerous. So when something ticks you off, and, and not necessarily when I tick you off, when something ticks you off, in fact, rather when something, <laughs> not me, ticks you off. <laughs> oh, and you know I can go off. You get feisty in a way that's like, oh, ah, man, oh, I want to grab you and love you. <laughs> Passionately. <laughs> So yeah, when something other than me makes you angry. <laughs> I did not know this. Thank you, Defining. Who said I love you first? No. I don't. What's Snapchat saying? <laughs> I, I think you did. I don't remember. Hi, Pella. Yeah, you were. No, 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 no. I knew, yeah. yeah. So me, I was doing the things to make you say I love you first. I genuinely believe that you said I love you first. Maybe. True. Uh, but I was setting you up. I swear, I was setting you up. Valentine's Day, I was there. Birthday, I was there. You did, yeah. Oh, and I love it. Too. And the best time, I was there. Yeah. Just waiting for that. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but in short, you did. Okay. I think this one's my last one. If you could go back in time, what would you do differently in our relationship? <sighs> what would I do differently in our relationship? You know, that's a very, very tough question because I feel like everything that we did made us... Oh, it's why we're probably still together. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think if you had asked me this question about six months ago, I would have said us moving in together so early into our relationship. But now in hindsight, that's uh, like best that was decision. the best decision we ever made. I am not trying to find out in marriage. Mm -mm. Dude, no. Mm -mm. no. Yeah, it's time to mm -mm. deliver it. That's I don't think we would have even moved to a different city if we True. hadn't like established us living together True. as a unit. We could do this interview. So yeah, that question. <laughs> <laughs> Let us come back. <laughs> what has been our greatest success as a couple? Hmm. You can't say Rasima. But it was a success. I mean it was. But I want to hear something <laughs> else. Okay, no. We have been very surprisingly the group in our families. We both went through like traumatic experiences when like you practically lost your dad. Your granddad was your dad. He raised you when I lost my mom. Right? And Ooh, but we were here there every way and us being together and having survived that together showed and put to our families that I know yeah Lavanta and they are and nothing happens without us in nah, our families if you're not there exactly like I bring our families you know what I mean I'm not there we plan events like yeah, yo I know yeah, she yeah. 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 we work that has been our greatest success mm -hmm. we bring our families together this mm -hmm. young generation mm -hmm. not including me mm -hmm. ah. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man, you guys got me all giggly. Dogozo. Ingrid. Mulefe. Shungwai. Nkatanga. How do I begin to count the ways? Let me try. I love how you complete me, like you were sent from heaven to be the perfect piece missing in my life for a completed puzzle. You've taught me so much about myself, and learning you is my life's journey. That's like an artwork to match the likes of Nelson Magamu or Picasso. Like Shakespeare, every day with you is poetry, an endless adventure. It's no wonder your parents named you Ndogozo joy, happiness, which is what you bring into every room that you enter. And it's a marvel to witness. And I thank God for the front row seat I have been given to witness the powerhouse of a woman that I know that you are becoming. I love your kindness, your spirit, and most of all, your love for family. No wonder we started our own family. You, me, and Rasima.
character, the one thing you've instilled in me, not just to talk the good talk, but to walk the talk too. Yes, believe it, that was you, you did that. Taught me to love with my actions and not just with my words. And thank you. Shmatata Shamina, Nkatanga, I love you. Jen Samulo, keeper of my heart and that of my life. Words will never be enough, but I'm gonna to try to put on one page a million reasons why I love you. Firstly, thank you for teaching me patience, compassion, unconditional and unwavering love. The kind that takes you on the scariest roller coaster of your life, but ends up being the most defining ride. You stood by me when I felt like the world was crashing down on me and reassured me every single day without fail that you'll always lighten the load. One of the greatest lessons I learned from being with you was to remember that even when things aren't rosy and we feel like we want to give up, to not fight each other, but to always fight for each other. That alone was enough to show me that love is a choice that you make and Lord, you make it so easy. I knew I wouldn't get to a million reasons, but if I were to choose one, I'd say our son. He is the greatest symbol of our love and the greatest blessing to our union. So I'll end it here in the words of Jaslyn, and you know I love Jaslyn. <laughs> I'll be there when you need a little love. I've got a little love to share. I'm always gonna come through for you. You'll never be alone. I'll always be here for you. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching our episode of Defining Love. Yes, you can catch us on our social media platforms. I am at Simply ATK, Twitter, Instagram. You are at I am Mulo on Twitter and on Instagram. We also have a YouTube page, Ndozo and Mulo. And we're gonna have our very own curated playlist. So if you guys wanna check it out, it's gonna be a beautiful list of music that Mulo and I both love. But you'll find all of that in the description box below. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to give a big thumbs up and to just always show support to Defining Love because you guys are doing an amazing job and thank you for celebrating love. We're out of here! Bye! I love you, baby. That's why you can call me daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you won't achieve anything if you keep fighting us. You must always fight. Oh, I said that you to you? You said that to me. Oh. You literally said that to me. I'm like, do you understand what that means? That means like in every action, whether I'm happy, I'm sad, it doesn't matter. I have to choose us. That for me. I thought we came to that conclusion together. No, I said you that. Said no. it. No, I would never come to those gyms myself. The wisdom yes, The love. wisdom. You, no, you deserve it. The wisdom. Ah, you deserve it, Shim. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> Can you get closer? My baby's a Harry, my baby's a Okay, okay. Mm. 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 Mm.